hello everyone today i am going to um, discuss a new topic that is how to install olsr in ns2 olsr is not come as default in ns2 so we have to install it uh, manually so without any further delay let's start so go to uh, your home folder then open terminal here you need to upgrade your system so i write some code here so that it will take less time so just copy it from here paste it enter and it will ask for a password after giving password it will automatically start update upgrading it will take some time so let's wait for some time completed then the next step is this on copy this on and paste it here press enter all done right so the next step is you have to download ns2 and olsr that link i will give you in the description below so i have already downloaded it downloaded it and extract it uh, so this is the uh, code that uh, extract from the um, original file to the normal file which is comes as a zip file so we have to extract it and here is the code, uh, command for uh, olsr to extract so then uh, after extracting let's uh, go to my olsr here you can see this is um, after extracting the OLSR folder I got this so we have to copy this folder to NS all in on 2.35 then NS 2.35 here we have to paste it and rename it as OLSR just it then the next step is install packet we have to install some packet for installing in OLSR so here is, here is some code I have written command so copy it and paste it in the command prompt press enter as i uh, <coughs> do this code uh, before so it uh, it's take less time in your case it may take uh, some time but no problem it will work per perfectly so the next command is this copy this and paste it here so done then uh, the next step is we have to um, need some modification in our ns all in one file so go to link state and find ls 
dot is so let's go to and so link state where is link state here it is link state and ls dot is uh, find on 37 line here you can see in your case this is this is not like the, this so you have to put this in your code and save it that's it so the next step is run OLSR patch right so go to ns uh, all in one then ls 2.35 then run this code copy terminal here open terminal paste it as we Let's see how to the past past file. Well, it's a two point one. Well, it's a let's put here. I'll press enter. So that's it then we have to run we have to install our uh, main installation file which is uh, dot slash install so first we have to go to ns 2.35 open a terminal then paste that command and press enter it will take some time so i'll pause the video and after installing installation i'll continue so here you can can see that uh, uh, ns2 installation successful uh, so what you need to do you need to do set up the path so to do that just go to home folder and command this this is the command for opening base file so paste it here as you can see here <coughs> a file that is open this file has no name just extension dot brsrc so you need to uh, copy that path you can see here yes put please put this path so in uh, 
I'll uh, give the path but uh, when you put your path just you have to change the name you see just you have to change the, uh, my name with your name here you can see that uh, all path I have set that is my name you can uh, see this from here also so then just save it the next step is I will give it uh, the description so no need to worry now all everything has done now check uh, whether NS2 is working or not so to do, do that just press okay. NS you can see percentage is coming that means NS2 is installed successfully now let's uh, run a OLSR file that uh, I have created before so where is it Boulder, uh, mm, project here. here you can see I have created several OLSR file so open terminal here and oh sorry first of all uh, let's see what uh, the OLSR files look like the, here it is you can see I have chose OLSR protocol right so this is the code for OLSR um, network design I have uh, created it uh, with the help of NSG tools so that is the file So now let's open a new terminal from here and <coughs> type ns olsr i take 20 nodes for this file tcl and press enter you can see olsr file runs successfully and it will open a num file and uh, Trace file here it is so let's play it you can see packet are delivering so our OLSR uh, ins installation has been successful you can see the trace file I here I have used a uh, new trace file format so it's look like this so if you have any problem feel free to contact and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos thank you